We will be using the ferric hydroxamate test to identify esters, and we will be using ethyl butyrate as our ester test compound. Esters are converted to hydroxamic acids upon being heated with hydroxylamine, and the hydroxamic acids form colored complexes with ferric ion. However, before we perform the ferric hydroxamate test, we must determine whether the compound to be tested already has enough enolic character in acid solution to give a positive ferric fluoride test. If the compound gives a positive ferric fluoride test, the ferric hydroxamate test cannot be used. We will begin by dissolving a small amount of the test compound ethyl butyrate in a small test tube with one milliliter of 95% ethanol. And we will add one milliliter of one molar hydrochloric acid. We will then add one to two drops of 5% ferric chloride solution. The appearance of a burgundy, magenta, or reddish brown color indicates a positive ferric chloride test. Since our test compound ethyl butyrate did not show enolic character with the ferric chloride test, we may now continue with the ferric hydroxamate test. We will begin by adding one milliliter of 0.5 molar hydroxylamine hydrochloride dissolved in 95% ethanol and 0.4 milliliters of six molar sodium hydroxide to a test tube. We will then next dissolve six drops of the ethyl butyrate in the mixture and heat the mixture in a hot water bath until it boils for a few minutes. After removing the solution from the heat and allowing it to cool, we will add two milliliters of one molar hydrochloric acid. If the solution becomes cloudy, we will need to add two milliliters of 95% ethanol to clarify it. We will then next add a few drops of 5% ferric chloride solution. A positive test will give a deep burgundy, magenta, or reddish brown color. 